it was a dream come true. It was a complete, uh, it was an utter pinch me moment. I, I, could, I honestly couldn't believe that I had the part, to, to be completely honest with you. You know, he's been the dream, the top dream director for me to work with my whole life. Um, so no, it was, literally, it was a dream come true. But you and, you and Asa knew each other from before, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, correct, so, yeah, we did. So how was that, like, was it nice having someone who you've known? Oh, it was, you know, that's, I, I've not been asked that, but it was really lovely having someone there. And especially, we had the chemistry test together, sort of, at, at Tim's house, and it was, <laughs> I was so scared, I was shaking like a leaf, I loved Tim, and I was so nervous. And I was like, I wonder who's gonna walk through that door, who is it gonna be, are they gonna like me, do I gonna know them? And then it was Asa, and I was like, oh! Hi! <laughs> and he's like, hey Ella. And Tim was like, you guys know each other? We are like, yeah. As I used to teach his sister drama at um, the Young Actors Theatre, which is where we were both trained. And, um, and Tim was like, oh, this is going to be the easiest chemistry test ever. And like, obviously we get on really well. So yeah, it was really lovely to have him there. I'm just ordinary. No, you're not. You were born to protect us. Promise me one thing. Look after them, Jake. I promise. I love it. I love stunts and I'm, I'm quite an easygoing person. I'm pretty much down for anything. So they're like, Ella, do you mind if we just chuck you up in the air for a bit? Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. I don't mind. Um, I guess I quite enjoy being light. I quite enjoy being weightless, you know. Um, I had a little bit of sort of, I don't know what they call it, aerial training, I guess, um, when I did uh, a Maleficent. So they were like, oh, you're not scared of heights, are you? You're good in ropes. You're good with the harness. I was like, yeah, I like this kind of harness and like when it touches here and I sort of pretended I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Um, and the hardest part was actually getting up there was was having to like really tense and like keep all that core core strength so that you are constantly moving and you're constantly floating like rather than just literally looking like a puppet that's just <laughs> been like held up by two strings. But no, I, I did enjoy it. I sort of missed it. I wish I could get back up there. Because our abilities don't fit in the outside world, we live in places like this. Where no one can find us. Where's your place that you go to when you want Ooh, a bit of privacy? Nice question. Probably my room. I love my room. It's got, it's a tiny little box. Tiny little box. I'm very fond of my little box. Um, and all the walls are white. And and I and when I first got in there, I was like, this is disgusting. I hate this room. And now it's covered in colour and pictures and posters and, and paint and marks or bashed things in there. So it sort of feels like my canvas. And so like, and it can be a little claustrophobic. Sometimes when you're just feeling a bit like, Brushed off your feet with everything. Yeah. Shut the door. Get in there. Have a little cuddle with my cat. Hi. Oh my God! Hey. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I haven't wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick oh. on your teeth.